Hey, what's up? Today we're going to talk about Georgia Tech's Human Computer Interaction class as part of their online master's. I just finished the class, so I'm here to tell you all about it. Let's get started. All right, so let's talk about Georgia Tech's Human Computer Interaction course. So it's actually a really cool class. It's pretty easy, only about seven hours of a week. And you don't have to code, which is amazing to me. It's a nice class if you need a break. Um, Plus, the lecture videos and the course material is actually really insightful. So what is human-computer interaction? Basically, it's studying how humans use in interfaces to anything, basically like websites or mobile apps. But it's also trying to understand, like, what does the user actually need and how do you help the user achieve their goal? So the graded course material is a final project, uh, five principal assignments, five method assignments, which are pretty similar, 42 peer feedbacks, which every assignment you're supposed to give three feedbacks to your peers, and that can be a little bit tedious, but it is 10% of the grade, so you have to do them, and two exams. I will mention that one thing that's nice about this class is you can work ahead. So if you need to front load your class so that you can go on vacation or something, you, you know all the assignments ahead of time in this class. All right, let's just jump to the final project. So the final project is that you choose an interface, either a mobile app or a website. It can even be like a laundry machine. But it's essentially something that could use a redesign. And you're going to find out what do people like or what don't people like about the interface as it stands today. And then you're going to find out ways to make it better. So it's pretty easy. You can just do it in like one sitting, essentially. You don't need to physically make a new interface. You could just draw one or sketch one out. And yeah, no programming is required in this project. So if you wanted to, you can program, but definitely not a requirement. All right, let's talk about the principal assignments or P assignments. These are pretty easy. You just have to follow this like rubric. They ask you pretty simple questions like, what's an app that has multiple environments? For example, like Google Maps. Okay, you use it while driving. You can use it while walking. You know, you just describe the different environments. Or another question is like, what's a good interface in your everyday life? Why is it good? Et cetera, et cetera. Uh, you can even just read these online. They're public. So the P assignments here, like all of them are ready to go. You can get started early if you need to. But yeah, they're pretty straightforward. And my advice is to follow the rubric on Canvas for these assignments. And if you do that, uh, you'll pretty much just get 100% each time. All right, M assignments. So these are very similar to the P assignments. They're a bit more tedious, um, but you can still do them in one sitting. Okay, peer feedback. So there's a participation score as part of your final grade. Peer feedbacks play a tremendous part in that. Every assignment, you are supposed to provide three feedbacks to your fellow students. And you can make up for any missed feedbacks by participating in the surveys when it comes time for like the final project. All right, exams. So these are great because you can have your notes, you can have the videos, open internet. As long as you don't talk or interact with another person live, you can, it's fine. Like you can just even open up all of the PDFs of the required readings and control F through them to find out what the answers are. It's really nice. You do have to share your camera, but uh, it is not too bad at all. And then here's my final grade breakdown if you're interested. All right, thanks for watching the video. Hope you liked it. I've made a few others of different Georgia Tech classes that I've taken, and I'll make a few more, so subscribe for those. I'll see you in the next one.